Let's now proceed to the most interesting feature of this model, which is the diagonal extrusion here. I'm going to hit L to grab our line and select this face. Left click. I'm going to drop our first point here at the edge, second point here. Left click and hit escape, hitting D to grab our dimension. Selecting this point and our edge, dropping our dimension here, and keying in 33, hitting enter. Our dimension tool still active, selecting this vertical edge and our diagonal line. I'm going to drop our dimension here and key in 112, hitting enter. Hitting escape and I'm going to try to move our line. So it's now fully constrained. I can now go to stop sketch, going to home view, and going to construct and select plane along path. Now for the path, I'm going to select our newly created line. And as you can notice, if I drag this arrow up to here, it's the distance is now zero. And if I drag it here at the other end, it's 1. So our objective is to position our plane at the middle. So the distance should be 0.5. And finally, hit OK. I'm going to hit C to grab our circle and select our newly created plane. I'm going to drop our center point at this line. So left click. So first, I'm going to go to look at, left click here, and the diameter is 16, hitting enter. Next, I'm going to hit C once more and create another circle. Now, the radius mentioned is 14, so it's 14 multiplied to 2, which will be our diameter. Next, I'm going to hit E to grab our extrude tool and go to home view. I'm going to select this profile and this profile and grab our arrow. I'm going to go to direction and select symmetric operation to be joined and distance to be 2. So I'm going to select this arrow and this face, I'm going to rotate, I'm going to select this arrow, left click, and this face. And finally, hit OK. Awesome. So next, I'm going to go to Sketches and turn on Sketch 12. I'm going to turn off Sketch 10 and Sketch 9. And I'm going to hit E for extrude and I'm going to select our inner circle so left click and drag our arrow down going to direction and selecting symmetric distance to be all and finally hit OK I'm going to hide sketch 12 by turning off this bulb and before we forget I'm going to select this edge and control left click this edge Right click and select fillet. Now the radius to be 3. And finally hit OK. And congratulations for completing our part model. I have a question. I'm going to go to timeline. Now there's another option for you to create this type of plane. And definitely, you'll be creating a different sketch. Now, my question is, what is that other type of plane? Leave it out on the comments below. And I hope to see you soon on our next part modeling exercise. Thanks for watching.